Hey, I'm Spoons. Thanks for checking out my video. I wanted to record a quick little intro just to say this is by no means a serious tier list and I am not an expert at POR. This was my first playthrough and these rankings are based solely on how these units performed therein. Um, with that being said, uh, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you liked the video. And now, on to said video. Get started. Uh, Ike. Well, first of all, we can go through and slide NPCs, and I'm actually I'm not gonna deal with this shit. I'm gonna change this to didn't use. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Ike. I think Ike is really good. Um, he does suffer from lack of mobility. Uh, and being locked to swords, although that kind of gets remedied once he gets uh, uh, a certain sword. So I'm actually I'm I would put Ike for me in A tier. I feel like he's super reliable. I I'm aware of the name. I'm just anyway. Um, he's very reliable. He, he wins every fight you could send him into almost um I, I really in normal mode at least i never had to worry about him getting uh destroyed mist <laughs> this would be a lie because we did use her for a little while i think a mist i would put it like b tier she's very squishy very uh very uh actually i'm gonna move her down one once you get her to where to her Val valkyrie promote i'm gonna say she goes up to here but for for us she never made it to that so she's going right here she's still a healer she can still heal you cool beans soren i'm putting soren in b he starts off rough Mages start off rough. They're, they're squishy. They don't do a lot of damage. Later on, with uh, his skill that lets him attack twice, and you know, once he gets some good uh, good levels level ups, and then promote him, he can heal you now. Solid, and he replaced Mist for us. <laughs> Boyd, I'm putting Boyd up here with. Uh, with Ike in A tier. I Boyd carried us for a while. Um solid tanky unit. Um You I every time we deployed him he put in work except for the last mission. I'm sorry my boy. I'm sorry my son. The son of the shepherd. You gotta invest in this kid. Um, and your investment pays off in a unit that you can't fight in melee. So, he can't defend himself if he's attacked. Um, he's just an archer. He, he put in work for us. I'm not denying that. But, he, uh, you got to invest in him. You got to forge him a bow. And even then, even at the last, if y'all recall, he, he was barely hurting anybody. He couldn't hurt the dragons. Oh, Oscar. Oh, Oscar. I'm going to end up putting him probably in the same tier as Kieran, because I feel that they're very similar. But just for now, let him ruminate down there. Let him marinate in the, the sewage. Titania, y'all know where she goes. Carries the early game. Useful all the way to end game. The only reason she wasn't useful for us at the end was because 
We hadn't been using her. Carries mid game too. That's a good point. Reese, I'm gonna put him here. Very squishy. He can heal though. Um, when you promote him, he gets light tomes. And so did Ike. All of this is related to RNG stat uh, bullshit. Um, Ilyana. I'm tempted to put Ilyana in the same tier as Soren. But she really belongs down here because we didn't use her. But I feel like if we used her more, she would have ended up being just as useful. So I'm just going to slide her in here. Just like I'm going to slide in Kieran, Oscar and Kieran tier when we get there. I'm going to put Mia in B as well. Mia's a solid unit. She's locked to swords, which is kind of problematic. You don't get that 1-2 range you get from axes. Um, the only reason she died is because we tried to rely on some shenanigans. I'll get into that. Um, we had Gatry with Provoke, her with Shade. Tried to scumbag a little bit with her avoiding attacks, and it did not work. Mia, for us, developed really well. She crit all the time. Her speed was off the charts. Um, I realize that's not the same for everybody, but I think, um, like I say, I think she developed really well for us, and she was a very useful unit. Um, Marcia. Marcia, at, at first, she was very squishy. Very unreliable. I felt like I couldn't put her anywhere without having to... Um, go back and forth trying to maintain, you know, what am I trying to say? Micromanage her because she's so squishy. But by the end game, I could send her somewhere. No one was hitting her. She is amazing. z -Hark. Mia, but he comes in later. Uh, by the time you get z -Hark, you've already had Mia for a little bit. Shinon, I'm putting Shinon at E because he's a fucking asshole. Also, he leaves and doesn't come back for a long time. Um, by the time you get him back, you've already got... R Rolf was already doing his job for me by the time he came back. And we only used him because somebody... A dazzle. Wanted me to throw him in the, in the mix. All right, I know this is going to ups, you know, not upset some people, and it's the obvious choice for us. But I know this is not standard uh, opinion. Gatry's the fucking man, okay? We gave him the the speed boots that increase his movement speed and provoke, so everybody was attacking him. He had this. He had one less movement speed than a, than a paladin. I think he had eight and. Oh, actually, he had eight. She had nine. So this guy's flying across the field. No one can kill him. Enemies in the in the last fight were doing no damage to him. Stunning. Uh. It just dominated with the Iron Lance. Dominated the whole the whole game. He leaves and comes back just like Sheenon, but it's easier to get him back. Look at him. He's a Chad. He does a Chad strut, and he was critting like a madman. So that's where you belong. I don't care what anybody says. Kieran, at first, my boy, when you weren't hitting anything with the axe, I would put you down here and see. Okay. But I'm, I'm leaning towards A. Uh, the only reason I'm putting you at A, where Titania is S, is because Titania... It was just better than you. <laughs> um, but... Kieran put in a lot of good work for us near the end. I don't think he ever got to be as strong as he could have been. But... 
Once he started hitting things, he put in some good work. Mordecai. Look. I feel like Mordecai. Mordecai is super tanky when you get him. And he could really lock some shit down for you. Um, like, he wasn't getting killed from a mistake. You could park him somewhere, even in human form, and he'd be okay. Leth, you're going to B tier. I don't like your attitude. You got a cool star scarf, though. Volk. I'm going to be honest. If Volk couldn't open chests, he would be worthless. I'm putting Volk in C tier. Right. XP debuff for the Lagoos. Yeah. Imagine only being useful because you can open chests. He's locked to knives. He looks cool. He's cool as shit. Especially when he promotes, he looks extra cool. But he's just he he's not good in a fight. He's as good in a fight as Rolf is. Except he has a more important job job to do. Astrid. Astrid's a, uh, a high A tier. The XP buff means you can get her. Soft goes in Rolf tier. Astrid, you can get her to where you need her to be because of her XP buff. She will... I'm putting her above Kieran. She'll fly past... Actually, I'm going to put her at the top of A tier. I'm leaning towards S tier with Astrid. Fuck it. She, she, with the XP buff, you can get her where she needs to be. And then get that skill out of there and give her one that is useful. Jill goes in the same, same tier as Marcia. If she hadn't died early, she would have been doing the same shit that Hara was doing in that last fight, except she would hit better. She would be hitting better. Brom, I'm going to put Brom. It should be a lot faster, too. I'm going to put Brom in B tier. I feel like Brom is a, a really. Uh, I don't know anything about his stats. You know, we didn't use Brom. What the fuck am I talking about? But in my head, Brom could be. Okay, we miss getting Gatry. We invest in this guy. Nephany. I'm putting Har in. I'm going to put Har in B tier. And there's only one reason why I'm doing this. And it's because his. He comes in so late. I feel like, you know, his stats are already, already kind of janky when he comes in. He's got solid stats, but I don't know. I just feel like he wasn't where I needed him to be when he came in and when we really started needing to use him after Jill died. I really didn't use these two. Look, I'm going to be honest. F first of all, Makalov can go down here and kiss my ass. He's a, he's a cavalier. Trying to decide where I want to put our boy. Largo in 360 tier. I'm going to put Largo in A tier. His defense is really low. Okay. But. That man hits like a truck. Like a truck full of bricks. And the brakes are gone brother. He ain't stopping for me or God. Moorim. I feel like Muarim is, is very much in the same same vein as Mordecai. He's got very good stats. 
Um, he's got the, the Laguz band or whatever, so he doesn't have to transform. Yeah, he, he's a better boy, but he joins so late. And you really don't have time to develop his defenses. Toronio, I'm going to put Toronio. We used him a little bit. Toronio is good. The only reason I want to put him low is because, once again, he joined so late and we already had Gatry and Braum. Yeah, I'm thinking low B as well. Hey, I did. You know, um, what's her name? I can't. Uh, I'm going to go with Renolf. Someone remind me. It starts with S. Tanith, there you go. Starts with the S. What the fuck am I on? Renolf is another Laguz. He's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm going to put him in like mid B. Separate the Myrmidons a little bit. Tanith. I feel like if we had used Tanith more, she would have been really strong. The fact that she can call in reinforcements is kind of neat. I'm going to put her in A. She's a flyer like the rest of the people in S. I did not use you. I did not use you. Alencia. I'm, I'm going to be honest. We, we had to put a lot of effort into Alencia, so I'm putting her in A. We invested heavily in grinding a little bit on one particular stage and the effort paid off we got her sword up to where she can use the sonic sword and her magic just went through the fucking roof which made her a really solid unit a really solid healer who could also dish out some good damage against resistance instead of um defense nasir Ah, uh, uh, man. The Royals all going. What tier is that, Rocket? Hold off on that. Racing? Good lord, man. Get up here. Racing is the best support character in the game. He heals. He refreshes your turn. What more do you want? This man is the, the, the steam engine. That keeps your shit going. Nesala, I'm not putting that man in it. You're right, you're right, right. He goes in this tier. Didn't use tier. But racing is the, the engine that keeps your army moving. When he transforms, he uh, he can give four people their turn back. Whoever's standing next to him gets healed a lot. Astonishing unit. Just wonderful. Soth, you're going Rolf tier. You're, you're Volk, but not as cool. Nasir. I want to put him in C because you don't get him until, like, the end. But, uh... He, was, he really was putting in some work, and they couldn't hurt him. So I'm going to put him in A tier. I didn't take him out of the army. Put it like that. This is Stefan. If we had put more effort into Stefan, he would have done a lot of good work for us. I benched him because he was another Titania. But when you get him, he's a powerhouse. He will destroy everything in his path. Who's next? Oh yeah, well, get your ass up there. To barn, no, no. No explanation necessary. I think everybody else is an NPC, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you. There's Gifka. Okay. So, 
this is kind of where I think people landed. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a once over again and see if I agree with myself here. I love Largo. I might slide him down to the top end of B. Um, to barn kicks so much ass for us at the end. I feel like this is kind of unfair to Makalov. You know, we didn't use Makalov, let's be honest here. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of how I feel. Um. So th these are the, the units that kind of like put in the most work or in Stefan's case, I feel like could have put in the most work given the opportunity. I feel like I should just put them together. They're the same. I, I feel like Mordecai is better than Leth. Just that's my opinion on that one. I like him as a character more. Um, Largo, I just I feel like we invested in him pretty heavily, so that's why he ended up turning out pretty good. Soren, once you invest in him, will do wonders for you and your army. I wish this had worked out, Ilyana. But yeah, so just this is based on my normal mode playthrough of Fire Emblem. Uh, Path of Radiance. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the only thing that I could say here is that you only get to barn for one fight. Gatry, your mileage may vary if you don't give him the speed shoes. And, yeah, if you don't give him the speed shoes, he's going to lag behind Marcia, Jill, Astrid, your flyers. But other than that, yeah, I think everything here makes sense. Steroids do wonders. You're not wrong. You are not wrong.